fish on. Oh, great oh, fish. Gosh. Nice one, Jenna. And he took my fly. Welcome to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Jenna McEwen, and on today's show, we're at Canuck Nature, a beautiful location in Quebec, just a few hours north of the American border. We're going to be fishing for a large rainbow trout and a speckled trout and learning a ton of different techniques. It's gonna be a great show, so stay with us. The new fly fisher has been made possible thanks to Quebec Outfitters Federation, Orvis Sporting Traditions, Rio Products, Superfly, fly fishing made easy. episode, I am so excited to be visiting Canuck Nature, a private fishing and hunting reserve located in Quebec. This is a beautiful drive-to location only a few hours distance, not only from the American border, but from the Ottawa and Montreal airports as well. Nature is an Orvis endorsed location and has several lakes exclusively dedicated to fly fishing. With over 65,000 acres of preserved wilderness, Canuck Nature is an authentic and unique experience for anglers and families alike. The attraction of Canuck, what really makes it special for people is that it's easily accessible, but it really does have a wilderness feel. It's a large tract of land. It's been preserved since 1674, so it really has that wilderness feel to it. A lot of interesting species here, a lot of plants, birds, a lot of different kinds of fish. While there are many species available in the over 60 lakes here at Canuck Nature, rainbow and brook trout are what I'm after during my visit. These lakes are known for large and aggressive trout that will take a dry or stream or fly readily. My guide this week is Jamie Pistelli an official Canuck guide who grew up fishing in the area. He suggested heading to a lake known for holding massive rainbow trout. When fishing the lakes at Canuck Nature, using a guide is always recommended. It's best to get somebody who really knows the ins and outs of the water. It could really help uh, enhance your vacation and get you on the fish right away. So a lot of people when they're coming through Canuck, they do get a guide on the first day of their trip just to Help, help with the learning curve and help put them in the right direction early on in their vacation and then the rest of the week they really know what they're doing and uh, how to get onto the fish. Once we were out on the water, it wasn't long before I hooked into my first fish of the trip. Fish on. 
There you go. Fish on, we got one. Woo! Woo! Good one, Jenna. Thanks. Slow down on the reeling. He's gonna okay. jump. He's gonna jump. And should I be trying to keep yeah. the ooh? Yeah. That's a nice fish. Yeah? First rainbow of the morning. There we go. Great looking fish. That's a beautiful fish. We just let yeah. him go? Yeah. There you go. And just. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Gone. Great job. Thanks. That's great. Fish on. That was that so, was a very hard take. Keep the line tight. You don't want to kind of pull on the hook. We are okay. using barbless hooks, so you just okay. want to keep constant pressure okay. on that hook. But this looks like a nice Oof. one. How's it feel? Feels good. The fish wants to run, just let, let run. it run, and then oh, that's a whoa. nice fish. Oh, wow. Good size? Look, yo. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, what a giant fish. That is gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. What a beautiful a... Canuck Nature rainbow. Look at the size of that. Gorgeous fish. Unbelievable. More great trout fishing coming up, so stay with us. Today we are off on another adventure to another beautiful lake. One of the amazing things about Canuck Nature is the large selection of lakes available to anglers. Whether you're looking for rainbow or brook trout, there will be no trouble finding a great location. Today, my guide Jamie Pastelli is taking us to a lake he loves to fish. because it has large rainbow trout and in good numbers. I'm really excited to cast for these large trout and look forward to the battles to come. Unfortunately, in my excitement, I had some trouble actually setting the hook. Oh, fish on. Woo, whoa. Oh no, he's gone. I lost him. And kept missing the fish strikes. Pull it taut, like that? Oh no, and it wasn't quick enough. <laughs> this is a common problem for new anglers or people like me who get really excited. After missing numerous fish, Jamie started talking to me about the difference between lake and river fishing, perhaps trying to get my mind off the fact I kept missing the fish. How deep is the water around here? That's about 20 feet right here. It's a big, deep hump and the fish are kind of suspended up on it. So they move around and got to vary your depth and see where the fish are. I think that's the biggest thing with, you know, compared to fishing rivers and lakes. When you're fishing a river, you cast out and, and the current does the work for you. Right. Whereas when you're lake, you got a little bit more work to do. You gotta figure out, first of all, where the fish are, how deep they are, and then you gotta figure out uh, what kind of presentation they're looking for. Yeah, so. you have to do all the work, whereas in the river, the current's really helping you out. Yeah, yeah, so here it's, uh, you know, it's always a little bit of learning curve, but as soon as you get on a fish, you usually can come up with a pattern pretty quickly and uh, get some constant action. And they catch there go. fast There first, we go, there we oh, go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my it's goodness. Good, good, good one. Oh, never mind, I got him again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, these fight, fight well. I'll bring him, bring him up to you. But I guess I didn't set the hook right the first time. The fly popped out of his mouth. And while I sat there in shock that the fly popped out, he came after it again. Oh my goodness. And right at the in the top of the lip too. That's, That's great. That's the way it's hooked. That's perfect. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Jamie. You're welcome. It's such a cool thing about these multi-species lakes. You can be fishing for a trout and you can pull out a bass. It's it's awesome. Oh, oh, oh. look at that's a trout. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> After
After a tough morning with no fish, Jamie decided to take us to a lake known for gorgeous brook trout. When we return, I will hopefully put it together and land some fish. After much anticipation, Jamie is finally taking us to a lake known for its beautiful brook trout. While I fished for brookies in rivers before, this is my first time fishing for them in a lake. So Jamie, can you tell me a little bit about the Lake Juan right now and what we're looking for here? Yeah, this is uh, Lake Laringal, Moose Lake. Cool. So there's a bunch of smaller lakes here at uh, Canoc Nature. This one mm -hmm. here holds uh, brook trout or speckled trout. It's a smaller little lake, but uh, there's a good number of fish in here and hopefully we'll get some action. That sounds great. So is there a change in technique when fishing for brook trout rather than rainbow trout or even just fishing this area? Should I be changing up my retrieve or uh, the setup of my line? Yeah, so these fish are not as large as the rainbows we've been catching during this trip. Um, you know, typically they're from eight to maybe 14 or 15 inches. So mm -hmm. we've downsized their fly a little bit. We're still experimenting with patterns and trying to figure out exactly what they're looking for. We've had a smaller woolly bugger type pattern with a little bit of crystal flash that was working before, but again, we're keep trying some new patterns. So uh, I think it won't be long before we can figure them out and uh, start uh, wetting the net. Let's do it. Fish on. Nice take. Oh my goodness. He, and he just hammered the fly. There was no doubt about that that was a fish. Good job, Ooh. kept her rod nice and low. Yeah, I'm trying to do what you told me. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna try and bring Went this Went back in the weeds, in that nice. other fish did that too, and yeah, he seemed this to... looks like a nice fish. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't got a glimpse of it yet. And That's a good I... sign. Not worrying about the slack line I have at the bottom of the boat. Um, I can just bring this one in by um, pulling in the line. Oh, that's a nice fish. Bring him up for you. There nice. You go. Thank you. Good job. Good Thanks. job, Jenna. That's awesome. Thanks. And uh, as soon as we netted this fish, the hook popped right out. So <laughs> excellent. Lift it up quickly. Thank you. Beautiful Look at that. fish. Beautiful little brook trout. Right here at Canuck Nature. That's a. Uh, Beautiful looking fish. They're absolutely beautiful here. We'll put it back in the water, let it go, and uh, go get another one. This is great. <laughs> great job. Thanks, Jamie. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Good work. Once I landed that first fish, I was totally dialed in. It became brook trout after brook trout. It was so much fun. Fish on. Oof. Nice take. Okay. Let's get this. Great job, Jenna. Beautiful, beautiful trout in the boat. I'm gonna keep my rod tip high, but not too high as I've nope. learned. And I'm, am I stripping it in all right? Yeah, it's bulldogging down. Nice one. Oh my goodness. And these nice fish, fish. They fight so hard, eh? Pound for, pound for pound, they're one of the best. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna try and bring his head up towards you. Ooh. And there Ooh. we go. Beautiful. Nice one, Thanks, Jenna. Jamie. So, oh, there we got the fly just popped, out. popped out there. And I'm going to try and handle this fish. Jamie's been giving me a few tips on the best way to handle them. And I'm going to put my hands under there. And that's a beautiful, beautiful speckled trout. I'm gonna get him Jenna. in the water there and give them a second to revive. Always important to let them go on their own and give them time. And there he goes. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you so Great much, job. Jamie. That's awesome. 
The fishing here is impeccable and I, I can't wait to catch more brook trout. The rod, reel, and fly setups we are using at Le Canuck are typical trout systems. I used both six and five weight rods in a nine and eight and a half foot length. For the reels, I was using large arbor models, but you can also use regular click paw reels for these trout. The fly lines we mostly used were intermediate sinking lines with an IPS of 1.5 to two inches per second. Of course, we had a floating line available as well should dry fly action happen. Fish on. Oh, great work. Oh, thanks. Oh my goodness. So, I think, you know, when you find the right depth and you find the right fly, uh, action can be constant here at Canuck Nature. And Clearly. A couple, of, a couple Clearly. of fish here. Wow. Oh. Oh, beautiful. I'm trying to keep the rod tip low, right? Yeah, there you go. That's great. And all around us, there are fish rising and jumping. And I think, just like you said, the bite is turned on. Bring that oh, up nice you. little fish. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, nice Jamie. One. Nice fish. Get that hook out right in the top of the nose. That's great. Wow. And the fish here are just gorgeous colors. Thank you so much. Get that out of the way. Great job, Jenna. Great. It's a beautiful. A little smaller than average size fish, but uh, they fight great. And Gotta love the speckled trout, the big square tail. They're, and they're, beautiful they're just fighters. beautiful. Let's get that guy back in the water. Oh, he was ready to go. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Good job. Man, I'm, I'm so excited to be here at Canuck and to have so many different species of fish to catch. And just, they're plentiful and they're fun. Yeah, absolutely. Trout action when we return. After all the luck we had earlier, I could not stop thinking about those massive rainbow trout. With the weather clearing up, it was a no-brainer to head back and to try and finish our trip with one last big rainbow trout. Oh, fish on! Oh. oh no. No! I was just about to tell you to now, keep your finger off the line. What I was doing there, I think the, the problem that I ran into is the fact that um, I went to keep the line tight because I didn't want the fish to run, but I had so much line out that I kind of mixed the two and lost the fish. So in that in that situation, what should I do? If I have enough line out at the bottom of the boat, should I be pinching the line or should I still be letting it run? Or is uh, it if the fish is running, it's always good other. to let them run. Um, right. You know, you always want to keep tension on line, but at the same time, too much tension, not a good situation, yeah. clearly. Yeah, so we'll retie up. That's okay, we got the juices flowing. I know, flowing. my heart's pounding. I'm ready. I'm very, very ready to actually land one of these gorgeous trout. So I think I've learned the technique. Let's, let's try we and see if we can speed. find someone. We found the depth, <laughs> we found the fly. Oh, my heart's pounding. Oh! 
Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, wow. This is a nice fish. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm trying to keep tight. Always want to, to stay that tight. Line. Oh my what gosh, nice this is a fish. beautiful fish. Look at the colors on that, eh? I think that's one thing that's oh, oh, oh. that's surprised me about the fish here is how beautifully colored they are. Sorry, I'm trying to keep that line tight because he came up really quickly. Oh, you got him? Got him. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Another gorgeous fish. Thank you for helping me bring him in. Hey. Great job, uh, John. So the hooks just popped right out, a benefit of those barbless hooks, and this is just a gorgeous rainbow trout. Put up such a great fight. Thank you so much for helping me, and thank you so much for having us here at Canuck. It's so great to have new fly fisher back here, and you know, for families that are out there looking for a place to fish, halfway between Ottawa and Montreal, let's catch get... beautiful, beautiful trout like this. Oh, let's get that fish revived. It's beautiful. Let's get her back in. Wow. Send her on away. Thank you so much for coming, Jenna. And thank you so much for having me. That's a gorgeous fish. And there it goes. <laughs> if you'd like to know more about the experience here at Canuck or our show, visit us on the web at www.thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to Quebec Outfitters, Orvis Sporting Traditions, Rio Products, Superfly, fly fishing made easy.